So guys, here we are. The new FM20 beta is out. It's taking me a couple of days to find time to record because of life. Was expecting the beta on Tuesday. Don't know, don't know why they thought they'd spring it on us early and, you know, panic us all a little bit. It's time for the FM beta series and as you can tell, we're playing as Arsenal. That's, that's all you need to say. This is the first time I've booted up the game. So, we're going on a bit of an adventure together because I haven't seen any videos I haven't even tried things out yet so let's get into it see what we can do what's up guys I'm chasing lamely and welcome to Arsenal um, this is all very fancy and shiny and new Arsenal today confirmed the appointment of chasing lamely as the club's new manager Ira has been raised in the world of football at the appointment of a 34-year-old who has recently spent time away from club football, and he's sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Emirates Stadium. Lonely has put pen to paper on a two-year deal worth £125,000 a week, it's a lot of money, replacing previous manager Unai Emery. This is all for, I like this, this is all very fancy. I got managed to get all my graphics packs installed as well, so it all looks quite... I think that's last year's kit, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It might have changed, it might not, I didn't really pay much attention. Let's look at what Chips Keswick has to say. Uh, I'd like to form you welcome to Arsenal to get you acquainted with your new surroundings. You'll find our introductory welcome pack before going on to realise to finalise the vision and objectives we're pr to proceed together with. Congratulations and we wish you the best of luck. It's very nice of him. Um, Arsenal, they've got trophies. Loads of trophies. We remember them winning trophies. Just... Anyone, I mean, they've won the FA Cup, but, you know, real trophies. The cups that matter. There you go. Whole bunch of trophies for us. And last season, they finished fifth in the Premier League. Um, there's a whole history. Doesn't want to take you long to find out the proper history of Arsenal. So I think we'll just go with it. And Freddie Lundberg is our assistant manager. That's what we need, boys. That's what we need. This is what the coaching staff think is the best eleven we have. So, uh, Henrik Mkhitaryan has gone, uh, we've got Danny Shabalos on loan, Mohamed Elneny and Mkhitaryan and Dejan Iliev and loads of people out on loan. People are out on loan, that's what's important. Uh, and then we've got our first team, what it thinks our best 11. So we've got Leno, Bellerin, Papa Sopa 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 yeah, he's he's going to become something. Socrates is good enough. Um, David Luiz, Kieran Tierney, Torreira, Ceballos, Pepe, Meza Ozil, Smith Rowe, and Aubameyang. That's, that's our best 11, apparently. We'll go with that for now. It's definitely going to change. Ooh, the board's vision for the future. And uh, touch short to discuss the finer details and finalise our competition objectives for the coming season. So wants to play attacking football. Psh, higher goals to games and shots to games ratio is preferred. Uh, desire that we play entertaining football. Sign players under the age of 18 for the future. Oh, we've got to do it the Arsene and Wenger way. Uh, work within the wage budget over the next five years. That's required. We can do that. We need to reach the final of the Euro, of the Euro Cup of the Europa League. Which is... Uh, oh... Uh, qualify for the Champions League through the Premier League, reach the semi-final of the FA Cup, and nobody cares about the Carabao Cup. Then next season, we'll have to qualify for the Champions League, and our contract expires. Third season, work towards challenging for the Premier League title, challenge for the Premier League title, win the Premier Division is our five-year plan. I'd like to do it faster than that, I'll be honest. Finally, don't hesitate if you'd like if you, to let me know if you'd like any of the arrangements below to be made. Once again, I'd like you to welcome you to Arsenal. Everyone at the club hopes that this is the beginning of a long and successful era. Yeah, I, I'd say it's probably all things we want there. We want a press conference, we want to do a friendly, and we want to get advice from the backroom staff. So let's confirm that. And let's get into the new everything. Um, okay. Tactics induction, I'm guessing, hasn't changed. So we'll leave that. Or should we? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. Let's not go too induction-y. Club vision and expectations meeting. We've 
sort of done that, I guess. I think. Um, I don't know if I want to negotiate any of them. I mean, I'd like... I'm going to need to sign players who aren't under 18. Let's have a look at the negotiation version of this, just see what we can do. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Can we get rid of any of this? Maybe. Uh, suggest. Nah, it's got to be done. It's got to be. It's Arsenal's culture. I tried. I tried to get rid of that. Right. Uh, the expectations for the coming season. They want to reach the final of the Euro Cup, qualify for the Champions League, FA Cup semi final. <sighs> I feel like cups are too risky. Doesn't really affect our our wage budget, does it? Not massively. I want to focus on the league. I mean, if we screw it, let's go for it. It's a B to save. What's the worst that can happen? Preseason prep. We want to have a fairly Fairly heavy preseason schedule, I think. That'd be ideal. Friendlies. What have we got here? These might be okay. Friendly cups and finally it's Lugo. Don't know who Lugo are. Where are they from? I haven't set up the squad view yet. They're from Spain. All right, that's that should be a fairly. I won't say an easy one because we don't need that to be an easy one. Salonica and Red Star. Uh, interesting, interesting. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, there's no real room for any more friendlies in there, I don't think. Doesn't look like it. I mean, we're playing our under-23s a lot. Like, a lot. That's That seems unusual. Um... Oh, we'll leave it as it is. We'll leave that as it is. Um, yeah, very, a very. It's going to be a bit of a longer episode than I anticipated. I think because there's so much new stuff to look at. Uh, we will, we will take charge of the friendly matches for now, but that's not going to be a thing I do going forward. I can say that almost certainly. Fitness report: Bellerin, Emil Smith Rowe, Rob Holding, and Kieran Tierney have come back injured. These guys are in top condition. Good work. Squad selection rules, we have to have 15 minimum and maximum 25 for the Euro Cup. Two goalkeepers, four players trained by Arsenal, eight trained in England. Pfft, could be a big ask with Arsenal. We have 18 players in the squad and six trained in England before their 21st birthday. Bit of a transfer window in progress. We know what happened there. Uh, introductory advice summary. You, good use facilities. Make David Luiz captain. Who's currently Arsenal captain? Currently, it will be Granite Shaka, who, frankly, is awful, so we'll make that change, because um, he's not going to play a lot. Um, we'll leave these till we figure out set pieces. I think that's going to be the way forward. Let's, uh, let me have a tinker, and I'll come back in a second, and we'll see, we'll see what I've, what I've, changed. That's probably the best way, otherwise we'll be doing hours of episode. Back in a minute. So I finally finished getting the club set up and uh, I think this is the first time in a really long time I've regretted taking a job. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I had a look at the squad using the old team report, what's he do to her? Go into the squad depth and, uh, you know, it doesn't look deep, but it looks workable, right? Yeah, we've got two good strikers, we've got a few good wingers here, a few good centre mids and attack, a few good right wingers, a few good centre, just regular centre mids, although the best one apparently is El Neni, which is an awful colour, they've chosen an awful colour for that. 
I'll figure if I can fix that in a minute. Or before the next episode. I'm not going to do it now. Um, but yeah, some decent centre mid. Centre mid is the strongest area of the team midfield, certainly. And then you look at the, the defence, you know, you've got some good left backs, some solid centre halves, some solid right backs ish. Even got some solid keepers. Yeah. And then you do this. And, uh. This is the team in order of ability. And, uh. Kieran Tierney's injured. Hector Bellerin's injured. Konstantinos Mavropanos, who is the best of the under 23s, injured. Rob Holding injured. Emil Smith Rowe, who is apparently our best left winger. Injured. This guy was in the under 23s, I think. And I called him up because he's. The best left wing option I have fit. So I was looking at the team as we have it, and this is the best lineup I can scratch together. Um, Leno, Chambers, Luis, Socrates, uh, Kalasinac, Sabalos, Shaka, Pepe, Ozil, Saka, and Aubameyang. And these gaps on the bench here are where I'd normally put defenders. Mustafi is the only fit centre half of the club. Ashley Maitland Niles can of course play at fullback, but he's a midfielder by trade. And uh these injuries, these injuries to our defenders here, they are not two days. Kieran Tierney, two to three months, that takes him out till September. Bellerin, out till September probably. Uh Konstantinos Mavropanos out until October. Rob Holding probably out until September, Emil Smith Rose out till August if we're lucky. Yeah, so uh, that was the first issue I spotted. The next issue was that the Arsenal coaching staff are. Uh, they're not very good, are they? I mean, there's some good fitness coaches. I fired one already uh, because he had a 12 for fitness. And he was a first team fitness coach at a Premier League club. But the rest isn't exactly spectacular. And uh, you can say the same in the under 18s and the under 23s. Like, this guy, I'm going to replace him. The under 18s, just what is that? That keeping coach is going to go. The under 18 manager is going to go, but it's the lowest of my priorities. I've just got to replace everyone. Um,. If you look at the staff in general, um, oh, I didn't even dare go into the scouting team in depth because I thought I'd probably cry. Um, okay, there's some good ability judging. There's not the worst coaching team in the world. They lack a chief scout, but you know it could be a lot worse. I mean, this guy, Jesus, what was this guy doing at a professional club? He can go. Just gone, ruthless, don't care, go, out of my sight. This guy, again, what is his purpose? Just needs to go, I've got no need for a scout that bad under any circumstances. David Lee, I'm guessing that's the David Lee, used to play for Bolton. Used to coach Swindon, used to play for a few teams. That's the David Lee that played for Chelsea. Doesn't matter, crap, gone. Just... You know, if these if these stats reflected real life, you definitely John Jensen. He's only scouting because he's a club legend. I mean, I'm probably going to keep him around because he's a club legend, but he's a absolutely terrible scout. I mean, we're going to keep him around as long as we can, but because we've got twenty odd recruitment slots, but just such a poor scouting team. And it doesn't get any better when you look at the medical staff. Um, look at the medical staff's mentals. Because for some reason I can't put the medical attributes. I don't know why. Um, okay, the head physio is good. This physio is good. This one, you, if I find a replacement, he'll get replaced. He's average for this level. Good sports scientist, but lacking for sports scientists. There's no other doctors at the class. It's just, it's a bit of a shit show backstage. And yeah, um, I did just use swearing. That's how annoyed I am by this. So I have, I've had a look. And I've tried to figure out what the hell I do to fix. 
defenders are the priority because if you can't keep goals out there's no point in trying anything else and uh, th this is what I came up with Marcus Rojo on loan uh, it was him or Phil Jones quite frankly they were the best two centre halves available on loan and he can play left back sort of um, so I picked him we'll see if we get him in but I've only got a 10 million pound transfer budget and that's 90,000 remaining after these offers go through I and mean, that's going to cost four and a half million quid to get Marcus Rojo in on loan for a year um, Musa Wage um, good enough for the Premier League just about when you look at the summary he'd be our second best right back which is you know it's an improvement can also play at left back he's not quite as good at left back but can play at left back and frankly he's costing us you know 360,000 ish for the year we'll take a chance on him just to see if he's any good it just gives us that bit of depth and Javier Pastore um, again it's just, he was the best attacking midfielder available and that's somewhere we also had a little bit of a weakness also there were no more centre halves available so I thought I'd risk it and see if we can find some goals again six and a half million quid for the year just to get that yeah, so that's our budget gone on probably more than gone. We have to shift some of this about just to get three players on loan to cover up for the injuries for the year. You can see, just get rid of those, uh, get rid of those coaches. It's it's all a bit of a mess. It's all a little bit of a mess. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the getting set up episode. That's a bit kind of disjointed and whatnot. But you know, I was the more I looked at telling the story, the more I just. Oh, just it just broke me. I mean, you look at the the key, goalkeepers are good in the air. There's a good standard of iteration. Pace is one of the things. Was just great. Uh, you know, you look at the weaknesses. Nobody can head the ball. Nobody can mark. Nobody can communicate. Goalkeepers can't throw. They can't one on can't work one on one. Positioning's awful. The keepers like to punch it rather than catch it, which I hate. Um, there's no strong players, there's no jumping, there's no leadership, there's no balance, there's no determination. The wage budget and the transfer budget are appalling. You know, it's... It's just, there's just, we just need more. We just need more everything. And we don't have the money to make the everything happen. It's going to be a long season. At least we've got a few decent young players. Tyrese John Jules is in there. Apparently he's a decent prospect, which is terrifying. He's also about the fourth best striker at the club. Um, we've got also got Fuller in Balogun. Again, he could turn into a decent player, but phew, it's a long way off. It's all a bit messy. Um, and just to point out how badly run Arsenal have been over the last year so I've made, I've made some offers for some new coaches and some sports scientists etc 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 yeah the stuff you do when you got to overhaul the stuff I didn't realise they got rid of Steve Rowley their old chief scout who must be the best chief scout on the game with those stats so we're bringing him back it's just it's mad um, but yeah that's kind of the general rundown it's only been a, I know it's been a quick no football kind of episode which I know people hate but uh, it's the best I can do for a first episode. I'll get another episode out hopefully tomorrow. Um, in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching. If, if you want to follow our little journey with Arsenal through the beta, uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons that are down, down there. I can't get my hand there. Down there. Um, yeah, until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been Chasing Lamely. You've been awesome. Have a good one.